Welcome back to <laughs> Why didn't you? Zach, do it! Go! Go! You can't, you can't do it right now, it's already gone. Okay. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Did you see? Pepper, like, hi. Um, so we have another unboxing today, but this one Philip has to do because it is. What is this? Mystery tackle box. Pro. Pro. Bro. And I don't know anything about tackle or fishing. And or boxes. Or bo I know. I know a lot about boxes. But um, I got this for him. How much is this usually? I don't know. The pro? Probably thirty five. Thirty. I don't know. Oh wait, I had ten dollars I had ten dollars off, so it was twenty five. So it was thirty five. No. No. It was no, it's normally twenty five. Oh, okay. And then I had ten dollars off, so I paid fifteen dollars for this one. Okay, good. So he's gonna have to tell me if the fifteen dollars is worth it because. Was there shipping? No, it's free shipping. All right. But I don't know what's in it, so you have to open it. Ooh, those look like fun things. There's a wait. <laughs> There's a ruler in the box in case you. Catch a fish while you're opening this. While you're opening the box. Do you need a ruler for things? Oh, because it says, one, catch a fish using the bait in the box, measure it on this ruler, and share it, and you can win something. Oh, if it's a keeper? What makes something a keeper? Oh, oh, oh. Right there. Oh. Keeper requirements for contest entry. A pan fish needs to be 6 inches. Trout needs to be 12 inches. Bass, 14 inches. A walleye. 16 inches and everything else 18 inches you guys catch things yeah mm -hmm. so they have some can they see it yeah they can see it <laughs> these are thick and heavy duty this is like for shark fishing these things are enormous this is way larger than what we normally use but you can attach your line here and then you use this to attach your what are they hook. though they're a swivel leader hook. Clamp. Leader clamp. Clamp. Yeah. Thing. I have a whole house full of fishermen, so. Then they got a flowering. Uh, Florio. Catch more fish stopper. It's a jig. Jig. It's a jig. So they have a flowering jig. Jig. It's a very heavy, Get jiggy with it, Mom. very heavy flowering jig. It's a this, jig. the box, um, you get to pick what you're fishing for. So if it's like panfish, blah, 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 it like caters to that. And which one did we do? Saltwater. Inshore. Just salt, inshore saltwater. Um, it came with two, are they weighted? No. Two bobbers. Okay, I used to work at Sports Authority and I know those things cost like a buck. These are a popping float spotted so these this is really cheap these are like these 50 are like a cents dollar. to a dollar all right and then there's a U yozuri 3d inshore surface minnow and this is actually a nice one those usually are like eight to ten dollars has right? some nice uh, sound to it pink and white and pink and white it's so pretty shake it Right. If I was a fish, I would have no luck because I like shiny things and glittery things and sparkly things. So. Now, this is probably the nicest thing in here. This is a Ballista Firestorm 120. That is a huge... Is it's super deep. It's super deep and super fast. And it has LED technology. So, I'm guessing it uh, lights up. That's what, That's what I'm said. thinking. What? It yeah, Blood up. Flash Frenzy. LED technology. But this is huge. So this... That's what she said. Um, this is a big <laughs> lure. But it says... Is it for like deep sea? Because... Yeah, it's meant for deeper water. Yes. But you said you wanted shoreline. Yeah, I know. So... Um, I could try this on my kayak, but the only thing that would bite this is probably an enormous red or snook. It would have to be huge. But it is a very, very nice lure. All right, then we have Big Bite Saltwater Baits. <coughs> Those are $1.99. $1.99. Yeah. 
These are like little swim shad looking doohickeys. They're very cheap looking. You There's... can get them at Dick's for a dollar ninety nine. Dick's yeah. for a dollar. Ninety nine. <laughs> Dick's sporting goods. Yeah. And then there's Yum. Yum. Which oh, ones are these? These are Swarm Weightless, Texas Rig, Carolina Rig, or Wacky Rig. Great for twitching shallow. Ew, I got and, slimy. And uh, they're a little bit slimy on the because uh, it looks like they're gooing on the outside. Here. These are cool. They got big old eyes. Yeah, I like their eyes and they're sparkly. Their eyes are nice. They're very sparkly. These are a couple bucks. They're very yummy. <laughs> Those are cool. Start a feeding frenzy. Oh, wait. And I got a sticker. What's the sticker? Oh. I'm just looking at something. I got a sticker of a dude with a mustache. Dude with stash. <laughs> then I got a Dibble Digest, which is like a, I guess, it's something that shows how to fish. So we were trying to play like, um, let no not let's make a deal what's the one with the figure out the prices on stuff price is right we were trying to play prices right with that and there's a little guide right there so the firestorm but the big one the big one that yeah. one retails for 19.95 the pink one retails for nine dollars which that sounds about right. i said yeah. that i'm good the the gooey one those are 350 the, um, what'd you do? The shad tail, that's the one you said are cheapos. Those are two bucks. I was right. That, yeah, the, and I just lost interest. But they're all like two and three dollars. So, 28, So, about forty dollars worth of stuff that normally would be twenty-five dollars, but I had the ten dollars off. Go put this in water. Yeah. It says it's water activated. The the Firestorm 120 says that it is water activated. So once it hits water, it's supposed to light up. And act like blood coming off the fish. That's super cool. Do we use my pot? He's not putting it in the pot. He's oh. just... Water it down. <laughs> but, oh, oh, it's it blinking. Goes. Oh, so it looks like it's... Bleeding. Bleeding out the butt? Yeah. Yeah, because don't you want to eat a fish that's bleeding? No, so put that's it in, cool. so I want to put that on the thing. Put it, put some water in a glass. Yeah, put some water in a glass. Or does it need to stay, like, Yeah, it, it has to stay wet. It, water is not Come here, yeah, bring it's it here. Blinking. It's still blinking. Bring it here. It was. Get it together, man. So that's really cool. Yeah? That would have to be, like, uh, when we go out to... Like a pier that has really deep water, kayak fishing. Like Skyway Bridge? Yeah, Skyway Bridge. You could throw that at the marina right up against the dock. Put that down. It's for saltwater giants. So, <laughs> we have the, this. It uh, was, I don't know if you can see it. Well, it's not on camera. Blinking yeah, right you now. can. Yeah, it, it is. It is? A little, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's too much light. Stop. Oh, time. there it is. Can you see it now? Kind yeah, it's of. flashing. You don't know, Mr. Krabs? The yeah, tail, I can see like, it. flashes. Yeah, so it blinks. Yeah, right. that's cool. That's... All right. That'll be tested out. All right. Okay, so... Look at those hooks. Are huge. Yeah, don't let the dogs get, get those. Yeah, those are enormous hooks. Yeah. So, um, would you... Oh, God. Look at this huge thing of Red Hots that Phil got. I like my Red Hots. He likes Red Hots. So, would you buy this again now that it's going to be $25? No. Because, no. I mean, even though it does have really cool lures, I think that's the, the, the two best things are the two lures. Yeah. Um, but... I probably would not buy this ever, the big one. Yeah. Just because I don't do deep sea fishing that often. Um, 
But I mean, it's, it definitely has its value for 25. It has enough stuff to equal 25 bucks. But I don't see that you're really, I don't know. It's nice because then you can try out some different products. That's about it. Right, like, well, that's what most of the boxes do, but. Man. What about bo the boys? What do you guys think? I mean, would if you spend I were, twenty-five bucks on this? I would spend twenty-five bucks on it, but not just like getting straight up the inshore fishing. I would like choose a different thing, like hard plastics or. You can't. You can't. Well, it only has like. You can choose. Well, you have bass. You have bass, bass, panfish, saltwater, inshore saltwater. That's not inshore. Something. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else. But the Those red hots are really spicy if you put a bunch but of But these things and the uh, one lure is not inshore. The this is like shark fishing stuff. This is really, really heavy duty stuff. Shark bait. Wow. So for them to say that this is inshore, I've never seen somebody throw a bait this large inshore. <laughs> no. But I'd buy the I'd buy the bass. But overall it's place. nice. I heard the bass one has a lot of stuff. I've never really used, um, not real. I just caught a snook today on not real. Today? Yep. You didn't keep it though. No, it was a little guy and I don't have a, whatever. Is it, it's not snook season. No. Okay, so that's what we think of the, um. I give it a seven out of ten. So I don't have to renew it? No, definitely not. Okay. But he's more frugal than I am, so. That's why I buy my Red Hots in five pound bags. <laughs> those are so, those seem spicier than regular Red Hots. They're cinnamon and pearls. They're spicy. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye.